Hi, this is Mario Romero with the Romero team at the Melcher Agency, your local real estate agent, and I'd like to thank you for taking time to watch our video today. Today it's my pleasure to introduce Kate Hinkle. She is the Managing Director for Theater Works at the Peoria Center for the Performing Arts. Did I get that right? Yes, kind of a mouthful sometimes. And you're kind of a hybrid because you, you're in charge of the theater and you reside there, but it belongs to the city. Correct, okay. correct, yeah. We are, you know, we're a nonprofit um, theater company, uh, but we're also the managing tenant of the building. Okay. So the Peoria Center for, for the Performing Arts is our home. We perform there, all of our performances are there. Uh, but then we also manage all the events that happen in that space. So if you see music or any other performance there, our production team is in charge of ensuring the highest production value. Uh, we market the event, we support the box office needs. Um, so we really present everything that happens there with the support of the city. Great. So why don't you tell me about you? You're the managing director. Tell, tell us about yourself, the history of the theater company. Wow, okay. Well, I am a native of Phoenix, of, of the east side, um, so I've lived here for a number of years. I won't say exactly how many, um, but the evolution of theater and performing arts in the Valley has been remarkable in my time here, um, and I, I enjoy every moment of being part of the theater company. Um, my career started actually at the Herberger Theater Center in downtown Phoenix, and I was there for quite a long time. Um, I had some time at the Phoenix Boys Choir, uh, and then I came over three years ago mm -hmm. uh, to Theater Works. Um, I began as the Marketing and Development Director, um, and after the passing of Dan Shea, I was promoted to Managing Director. Um, so the theater itself, Theater Works, this is going to be, next season will be our 33rd season. Okay. Yeah, we've been around for quite a long time. Um, it was, began um, on the west side, we've always resided in the west side of the valley. Um, but there were 12 individuals who decided that they wanted to follow David Woe, who's our founding artistic director. They all mortgaged their homes to support David and form this theater company, and that wow. was 33 years ago, yeah. And we still have the pleasure of seeing a number of them around the theater, which is wonderful. Um, so they started in a barn. Um, literally, it's a tackle and feed store on Thunderbird, I believe. It's still there. Mm -hmm. um, so they were there for a number of years, and then um, something happened. Not really sure if it was you know, a facility issue, um, but they had to leave that space and they moved over to a strip mall on, I believe it's 99th Avenue. Okay. Um, they were there for a number of years and again, something happened <laughs> facility wise. Then they went over to the Lakes Club in Sun City and that's really where the, the onus and the beginning of the Peoria Center for the Performing Arts began. Okay. Yeah, so all the individuals that were there realized the need for a real performing space for the theater company. And it is a beautiful facility. It is an amazing facility. Um, we have, you know, state-of-the-art equipment there. Mm -hmm. We have very intimate spaces. Um, it is a wonderful theater company, or theater space. So, um, gosh, it was... 2011 when that theater um, came into fruition it was began to you know mixing it around those thoughts what do we need um, and then it actually went to the voters for the city of Peoria they voted to have a bond support that the building of that facility um, so the facility has been open now for 11 years so we've enjoyed our home there ever since and it's real important because this valley has grown so much over the years having been here most of my life and the west side is just it's expanded and it's nice to have this this facility that's accessible and available for the west side of the city and then you have different resident companies that perform there uh, we do have some people that perform there on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. um, we're really, we are really the only official resident company, mm -hmm. um, but there are regulars for sure. Um, we have dance companies that are there every year. We have smaller incubator theater companies mm -hmm. that are there every year. Um, we literally have nearly 600 events in that space every season. And so. you just had, I was told you just had your festival? 
Yes, actually the Peoria Unified School District holds an arts and culture festival every year to celebrate arts and culture in the city um, and all of those things that the students participate in. So mm -hmm. it's dance, it's band, it's strings, it's visual art, it's theater and choir, all those things we love to celebrate within the city and our students. Do you have anything exciting coming up? Any information that our viewers oh, would be interested in? We, I know you have your new season, if you can tell do. us what it is. We do! Gosh, I hope I remember everything. Um, we are very unique in that we have 14 of our own productions every season. So um, last season we began doing a summer show as well as our main season shows. So this year we will be doing The Little Mermaid during the summer, so that'll be in July. Um, and then we have three different sections of performances productions. So we have our masterwork season, which is really what your subscription series mm -hmm. would be built upon. Um, and we're opening that one uh, with All Shook Up, which okay. is, you know, Twelfth Night told through Elvis music, which is really fun. Um, after that, we will be mounting the very wonderful and amazing show. I'm really excited for this one, uh, Jekyll and Hyde. Um, it was premiered by Arizona Theater Company a number of years ago, I think about 12 It has not played ago, in the Valley in a long time. It has played since. Or has yeah. been remounted in New York. Or... Right, yeah. So we're very excited to bring that one to the stage. Um, after that is a really fun show, The Red Velvet Cake Wars. Um, it's a group of women who come to a family reunion and they battle over who has the best spread of all the cake. So it's really fun. Mm -hmm. um, it's the writers from the Golden Girls, so you know it's witty. Oh, okay. and, um, yeah, it's a really great show. And then after that, we will have a Christmas Carol. Um, we remounted it last year. Um, Richard Powers Hart wrote his own version for Theater Works. Okay. And we mounted it last year, and so we're doing it again this year. Um, but we will have some new elements thrown in this year. We're going to be building on last year's production, making it better and bigger. Um, after that will be a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. You know, a farce on really the creation of where theater came from mm -hmm. um, in Greece. Um, and then after that, oh my goodness, we have our last show, The Marvelous Wonderettes. That's a great so show. So it'll be another fun musical to, mm -hmm. to usher out next season. Um, and then we do have um, youth theater. So we do four shows that are performed by youth in the Valley and for youth. So. And that is so nice to introduce children into theater. I know when, you know, because usually the shows are shorter for the attention span. Mm -hmm. And I know when I was taking our granddaughters to youth ch children's theater, they'd sit there and says they'd be looking for Mike. You know, they think everything was like being in the, and watching television. They didn't realize these singers were singing right in front of you. In front of you. <laughs> so, yeah. so then you sit down and they get their autographs, and it was like these memories that were created Absolutely. for them. Absolutely, such a different experience for them. Yes. Absolutely. So, so I'm glad you guys yes. are doing that. Thing. Yes. We do have puppet shows as well. You do? So we start, we target the audiences at three to eight year olds for those puppet shows. Okay. And we do it in black light theater. So our puppets and the scenery glow in the dark. Okay. And our puppeteers fade into the background. So it's like watching a live animation. It is really exciting and I love it. But just to see the kids and how they respond and engage and they have such a great time. And, and those are really only 40 minutes in length. Mm -hmm. So they're very short, but um, after an hour, they start falling asleep. They do. We're getting antsy and getting the wiggles in their mm -hmm. seats. So yeah, we're very cognizant of that. So, so we'll have three puppet shows next year too. So okay, well, great. a lot. Well, thank you very much for telling us about yourself, about theater works to our, uh, you know, to our audience. Can you give us your website and contact information to the theater? Absolutely. So our website is theaterworks.org, and theater is spelled with an E-R. Um, and our box office phone number is 623-815-7930. Um, and we have all of our information up on our website now for next season. So mm -hmm. if there's anything there, you'll be able to get the information on anything that you want to see for next year. Oh, real quick. What show are you currently running and when does it end? Forever Plaid. Mm -hmm. uh, four great guys um, who um, got hit by a bus, literally. <laughs> um, and they are coming into the afterlife to do uh, the show that they always wanted to do. 
form. Mm -hmm. um, and that one closes actually, this will be a final weekend. Okay. Um, but then we will be bringing Forever Plaid to Prescott for a weekend. So April 20th, 21st, and 22nd, we're going to the Prescott Performing Arts Center okay. there um, for one weekend. So if you miss this weekend in Peoria, you can catch it next weekend in Prescott. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for Thanks spending for time. Thanks for having me. If you have any questions about this organization, this theater company, about real estate in general, or getting a home loan, give us a call at 602-252-4191. Thanks for visiting us and see you next time and make it a great day.